Students coming out of today's Geography Leave and Cert exam would have had many talking points, but three that stand out to me I include the following. One, the human interaction questions in the physical geography section didn't appear for the first time in years. Um, usually there's at least one, if not two, questions. And one would deal with human interaction, rock cycle, human interaction with surface processes. Neither of them were asked, and they would deal with very important environmental issues. Um, so that's probably a surprise for lots of students. They probably put a bit of work into that. Um, the second issue also is in the physical geography. Fluvial adjustment was asked again. Now, this is the fourth time in six years. In textbooks, this is almost like an add-on topic uh, to the end of a river chapter, a coastal chapter. So uh, many students mightn't have given it the attention it deserves. So that's appeared, and I think that would have taken a lot of students by surprise. But overall, they would have been able to answer uh, at least one of the three questions. And the third issue arises... Uh, in the geocology section, and that's, uh, I think, students would have been quite happy. There was a good choice of questions, again, and uh, particularly the biome question that a lot of students uh, would have put a lot of work into was asked in a very uncomplicated manner and would have been very easy for students to address. So anybody who had done any bit of preparation would have been very happy with the geocology section. And the other two soils questions were very straightforward as well. So I think many students would have been walked out of the exam feeling very relieved and happy, particularly about the geocology section.